Hey guys, it's BBGun from MCTDM Gaming here, and as requested by the Black Ops 2 Reddit, I'm going to bring my little executioner guide that I used to get the golden executioner and pull off a few merciless and a few better score streaks with it. So we'll get straight into creating the class. We're not going to choose any primary weapon. If you wish to use the executioner as a secondary weapon, may I suggest using the cap 40s, they're a lot better. So coming straight down to the secondary, of course we're going to be choosing the executioner. Put on whatever camera you like, I personally am going to go for the gold since I've unlocked it. Next to the attachments, one key attachment you're always going to need to use if you're not using dual build, I'll go into why I don't use that in a second, is fast max. Instead of reloading one pellet at a t like one shell at a time, you really reload all five shots at once. Next we're going to choose the secondary gunfire card. Due to the range being so small, I'm actually going to choose the long barrel attachment. This gives us a bit more range to it and will help you win the odd gunfight, well worth the extra 2 points spent. Now if you wish to use dual wield, it's up to you, but note you can't use any other attachments, and the range is reduced. Personally as well, this is the only shotgun type, but it's, I suppose it's a pistol, is that I've actually aimed down sights with. Aiming down sights will also help cluster the pellets to go closer towards where you're aiming. Next for perk 1, most you can you have two options. You can choose lightweight or ghost. If the enemy team you've been playing with have been spamming UAV, go for ghost. Personally, I prefer lightweight just so I can hunt down my opponents quicker. You don't want to be chasing your opponents for too long because chances are they're going to run by an enemy and the enemy's going to see you, or run by a friendly and they, their ally is going to see you and shoot you. Perk two, I'm going to take scavenger. You don't need toughness with this gun. The flinch is uh, fine because the flinch actually helps you get your headshots. I find. Perk 3, we're going to be choosing Extreme Conditioning. This is so we can run faster and longer. Coming down to Lethal, it's up to you. I personally don't prefer to take Lethal. I prefer to take a Tactical. I've been using Flashbang, but ideally if you're going to do it, it's Concussion Grenade to stun the component. Next on to the next wild card, we're going to be choosing Perk 3 Greed. This is going to allow us to take Dexterity or Tactical Mask. Depending on your opponent's playstyle, or the, in the map. If the map has a lot of places to climb, I recommend taking Dexterity. If your opponent's been using a lot of flashbangs, concussion, shock charges, or yourself with your concussions, if you're often concussion yourself or flashbangs, attack mask. But Dexterity is probably the overall better perk for this case, as well as recovering from sprinting quicker. So this is our class build, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for a little bit, about 10 seconds actually, and we'll get into the some tips and tricks with this gun. See you later. And I'm back guys. So um, this is just some tips I've got for the Executioner. Um, when going for the Executioner, the two maps, Hijacked and Nuketown, are going to be your best friends. Now, I don't really call this camping. Like, you need to have a different play style than all your other guns. It's not a camping and it's not like a rushing. I call it like, it is camping because you're sitting in front of their spawn. Like, you're pretty much trying to stay in their spawn at all times, but you're not sitting back in your spawn, so whatever you call it. If you call it camping, you call it camping. Now, um, some other things I've noticed is you want to reload, preferably after every kill, because you've only got, unfortunately, five bullets in your magazine. And it's meant to be a one-shot kill, always, but not always, because we know the hitboxes in this game are screwed up. Is it going to be a one-hit kill? So I recommend shooting at least twice, until you see the 100 points appear on your screen. And if you keep on shooting until... Now, another tip I've noticed with the Executioner is patience. You've got to have patience. If you don't have patience, you're not going to get anywhere. Ultimately, you'll just die, you'll rush out to their spawn, and you'll see this when I die in this clip. Next on to it, it's make sure to, um... What's the word for it? Play safe. If you're not going to win the gunfight, run off. Just don't, don't just continue to contest it. That's what I screw up as well here. Um, another thing is I've noticed is while shooting, don't stand still. A lot of people, while I'm standing still, will decide to, okay, I'm just going to stand still, aim, and shoot the head. No, executioner, you got to keep moving. The closer you're towards the enemy, the easier it is for the kill. So right here, I'll take a gamble. It pays off because I know where they're going. Pick that up, and right here, I screw up. Thanks for watching guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like rating and subscribe for more. Catch you next time, see ya.